Good morning and win today, win tomorrow, win forever. Thank you so much for tuning in one more time. This is Timothy and as usual, we are coming here excited to tell you something new or to cap up anything that has been talked about. Now today this episode will not be just as usual. I want to just come up with only one thing in this episode. I want to crown something of uh, how do you know that you will succeed in any venture. Now, this is not about church, it's not about ministry, it's not about mission, it's not just about one thing in discipleship or something in worship. If you make reference to Nehemiah, Nehemiah was neither a prophet, was neither a priest, was neither a king, Nehemiah, this book of Nehemiah you see, was written by a man who just had burden. He just had a burden to rebuild a city that he had was broken down and he was not aware. So the day he got the information, he picked that assignment to himself and went. He was a very high ranking admin in the foreign government that captivated the children of Israel. So he requested permission to go back home and rebuild the wall of the city. And not just the wall, the city, not just an estate, the city, their motherland city. Now, I'm not going to elaborate on that. I'm just going to deal with one part, only one aspect of anything we have been doing. Now, we'll summarize it into one aspect. How do you know you are going to succeed in any venture? In any venture. Be it ministry, just like the former disciples in Squan. Be it business. Be it relationship. You can at least tell from beginning, you can tell whether you will succeed in this thing or it will fail. You can succeed in your mind way back before you start venturing into it. Now, first point you will realize if you have to succeed is the foundation you lay down. How did you start? I know there are other cases where someone gets uh, uh, shaken, shaken up. And, uh, and, 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 and finds what to do here and there and then suddenly lands onto something and it faith operated, faith uh, aroused and starts operating from a faith level. I'm not talking about that kind of a situation. I'm talking about I sit down and I plan. After planning, something comes up and we start working on something. And this continues with a plan, a program that has been laid down. If you didn't start with a good foundation, there is a very high possibility you reach somewhere in the middle. You will need a foundation. Now, this takes me to a place where someone, if you have to start a ministry or a mission, there is a way you have to connect with a foundation, especially where you are brought up. Very important. Now, this one will be addressed to some of the former disciples of Squan that comes in the comment section and we're talking, oh, leave, do your own business. I want to talk to you. This is now an advice. This is now a counsel I'm trying to give across. Number one thing you must know, all of you who came from Prophet T.B. Joshua and all of you who came from Squan, now that Prophet T.B. Joshua is not physically available, you have to know. The availability of Prophet T.B. Joshua is not just in the spirit. It's also represented physically. The physical representation is Kwan and Mama Evelyn. Very simple. This is a concept that Jacob realized and Esau did not feature. That the mother of the house is a powerful uh, force to reckon with in any way. You, whether, whether it sounds good or not. And I hear also some people say, oh, these disciples were disciples of T.B. Joshua. Now that prophet T.B. Joshua is not there, now we don't need this and that. And then they uh, say, oh, now let's move in. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm very categorical in what I'm saying. And this one, I've repeated it before and I'm just coming back with it. 
you need your foundation now if you come out of school and you say you don't belong there because uh, your, your 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 mentor has passed on now what are you trying to say you are trying to tell us that even us who believed in your mentor or you believed in the institution that brought you up we are now oh foundationless you have to sit down it doesn't matter how big of a prophet you are or how big of a prophetess you are or how anointed you are if you have no foundation you are going nowhere now that's one point and i want to station there don't go to any other point now i want to station into that one point you must know if your foundation is wrecked you have no place to stand even the bible came in to say what will the righteous do if the foundation is shaken they will run to the foundation the rock jesus christ now you run to jesus christ and the jesus the it, uh, your mentor introduced to you you still don't even have a picture of how to operate with him what are you trying to explain what are you trying to explain i want you to ponder that ponder that very well i want all of you to station your foundation and analyze your foundation what is your foundation talking about about you what is your foundation talking about you it can determine whether you will succeed or not now i know you can sit down and try to say oh we we go because of jesus we have jesus we have this we have that you have jesus yes But then no even Jesus himself there are a lot of things Jesus did not do by himself he had to consult other people to help him do it, as much as Jesus was a god he had to live in adherence to the social friendly environment he was in for his mission to be complete what is your foundation telling about the mission you want to embark on right now Timothy profitable and this is Blevoy TV we handle your spirituality economic and social matters see you in the next episode